Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Matchbox Resurrection. And today I'm playing with this Opel Diplomat and it was a present from my friend Mark from Matchbox Mark. And uh, as you can see it has no bonnet so I'm gonna use this car to show you how to make one from scratch. While I was doing this one I also had a parcel from Anthony Bolini and I've got this one. It is a full zodiac and as you can see it's got no bonnet neither. So I'm gonna do both at the same time and then you can see the difference in between the first attempt and the second because there's always room for improvement. I'm gonna go really quick through the rest of the process, but I'll be concentrating more on the bonnets themselves. So you know the drill. And the first thing that I'm gonna do, of course, is open the cars. Right, so let's do it. I took some measurements, and this is just a tin of corned beef, of course. And uh, now I'm just gonna cut some margins on the sides to fold it over. I've done one already, so I'm just doing this one a bit fast just to show you the steps. And uh, taking measurements is actually not a good idea because even that you have a perfect square. That doesn't mean that the hole in the car is perfectly square as well. And just a fraction of millimeter sticks out like a sore thumb. I'm just gonna cut the corners now so it don't fold over itself and it's just a single fold. I'm also making a notch on uh, the front to give it the shape. There you go, 
Once you got the basic shape, make sure it fits in the car properly. Actually, it's not bad. It doesn't fit properly because I've done it too fast. This is the one that I made before. It fits a bit better. Now I need to make the hinge and it needs to go through these uh, two holes and also around the engine and I'm gonna use a paper clip to make the hinge. Again, you will see the difference in between the first and the second one. And this is what it looks like now. I'm gonna use the sleeve of the paper clip to close the gap. This will also act as the inch itself. That was my second mistake. I should have done it the other way around, but you'll see the difference in the second car. I'm holding the bonnet onto the car with a bit of masking tape so I know that it's in place and now I just need to glue the hinge.
I'm not showing you the final result yet because I want to show you what I did different on the second car. This time I didn't take any measurements, I'm just gonna make a template of the bonnet itself and I just put a bit of masking tape I'm just gonna mark around. This way I've got the perfect shape of the bonnet and it'll be a better fit. Now I just need to cut around and do the same that I did in the other car. Now I'm just going to peel the masking tape and see if it fits. And it's already a lot better. This one falls over the radiator, so I'm going to make the markings on the car as well. I'm also putting a bit of curve on the front so it fits a bit better as well. This one has got a bit of pattern on the top, so I'm gonna do this now. I've cleaned it and polished it, so now I can attach the other part on top. And it's just another piece of tin that I cut to size, and now I just need to glue it on top. And to do that, I'm gonna use a magnet to keep uh, both parts together so it don't move while I'm uh, gluing it.
now I just need to get rid of this uh, kind of plastic coating from the tin and also from the excess glue. The wire wheel also helps me to uh, blend everything together. As for the hinge, I'm doing it different this time. Here's one that I made earlier, it's all trial and error, so this time I'm gonna put the open part of a paper clip attached uh, to the bonnet and the other part with the sleeve attached to the body of the car so it's longer and it will be more stable. and it's working better already, it feels more solid. As before, I'm using a bit of masking tape to hold the bonnet on the body so it doesn't move while I'm gluing. This is what it looks like now, so I'm gonna put everything together, see if all the parts are fitting alright.
I'm really, really happy with this one. Everything is working perfectly, fits properly, and uh, I've lost a bit of footage when I'm showing you uh, with the other car, but you will see in a minute anyway. But, yep, it's working. As for the paint, I'm using like light blue uh, for the Opel Diplomat as it was one of the original colors and I've already done one in gold. I'm doing the same for the four Zodiac. Uh, I've got one already in metallic blue, so I'm doing this in metallic green as uh, it was also one of the original colors. One of the windshields is broken, but I found another one that is quite similar to the front, so I'm going to use the front of one and the back of the other one. Not perfect, but it's not about fitting at all. They're both done now, so now you will see the difference in between one and another. Sorry if I'm a bit off camera, but my zoom went on for some reason. I think it actually fits better than the reproduction ones. This one is definitely a success. So let me show you what I've got. This is the one that I did a while ago but of course he had the bonnet and this one is the one that I've done now I forgot to chop the tow hook I'll sort that out in a mini as you can see it fits and it works but it's not as perfect as the other one and it's because I took the measurement 
instead uh, get in the shape of the real car itself and uh, the hinge it doesn't fit really really as good as the other one but I wanted to leave it like that so you can see the difference and how can you improve from one to the next one this one is the Zodiac that I did a while ago as well and of course it's got the bonnet as well and this one is the one that I've done now as you can see there's a bit of improvement from the first to the second one so don't be scared of failing because failing is learning And that's enough for today. Thanks a lot, Mark, and thanks a lot, Tony, for your cars. I've had a lot of fun with these two, and I learned a lot. As for the rest of you wonderful people, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next week with something else. Have a good day.